Hello and welcome to this video from the video series, Automation with Ansible AWX, presented by TechLatest.net. In our previous video, we covered how to provision TechLatest Ansible AWX from Azure Marketplace. At the time of recording this video, the TechLatest Ansible AWX Virtual Machine Solution includes AWX running on the HTTP protocol. Users can access the AWX user interface in a web browser through port 80. In this video, we will walk you through the steps to enable HTTPS for the Ansible AWX user interface within the TechLatest Ansible AWX offering. Please note that this virtual machine solution receives regular updates, so future releases may come with HTTPS enabled by default. In such cases, you won't need to follow these steps. So let's dive in. Here my tech latest VM is up and running and I can access a WX interface in browser. You can see, this interface is running on HTTP. If I try to access this using the HTTPS protocol, I am getting this error here. So let's make changes to our configuration to access this interface using HTTPS. I am here in VM's terminal connected via SSH. AWX is bundled in a container in this VM. We can check its status by running sudo docker ps hyphen a. You can see these three containers are up and running. This one tools underscore AWX underscore one is the AWX container and remaining are database containers. To make the configuration changes we will stop the containers first. Run sudo docker stop containers name. We can copy the names from our above command. We have a WX setup files available in the setup folder inside Ubuntu home directory. So navigate to home, Ubuntu, setup, AWX directory. Switch to root user using sudo, su. From here navigate to tools, docker compose, underscore sources directory. Open nginx, con file and vi editor, Press I to enable insert mode in editor. Go to line number 56, listen 8043 default underscore server. Add SSL at the end, like this. Scroll down and uncomment these two lines, line 62 and 63. These lines provide the SSL certificate and key from this location etc slash nginx. The nginx certificate and key are already there. This location is inside the Docker container. I will show you that in a moment. The final page should look like this. SSL added here. And these two lines uncommented. Save the file by clicking Escape key and typing colon WQ. Let's check the container's status one more time with sudo docker ps hyphen a command. All the container are in exited state. Once the config file is updated, Restart the Docker container using sudo docker start containers name. Now suppose for any reason you get the error after running docker restart command then, just restart your virtual machine. The containers will restart automatic Adelie. Wait for couple of minutes to let the container restart completely. Now let's access the AWX web console over HTTPS using the URL HTTPS colon slash slash VM public IP colon 80. Make sure you type colon 80 after the address. You will get certificate warning in browser while accessing the web UI which you need to accept to proceed with login. Click on advance and accept it. Now the UI is accessible via HTTPS. Log in with admin user and password. And here we have a WX interface. Now let's see how to enable HTTPS with self-signed SSL certificate or CA signed certificate. I am back in the terminal. CD to home, Ubuntu, setup directory. LS. We only have a WX folder here. Run this command here to generate the self-signed certificate and key using OpenSSL. Make sure to give the same names as shown in this command. 
Make sure to use hyphen trust out in the command to create the trusted certificate. Otherwise, the AWX container may not start and could generate an error due to an untrusted certificate. It will ask you some basic questions like country code, state code, department, etc. Provide all the details. Once done, it will generate your keys in this current directory. LS. Here we have our certificate and key ready. If you already have CA signed certificate and key, rename it to nginx.crt and nginx.key and upload them in this directory. On GCP, you have upload option available from the terminal. On Azure and AWS, you can use WinSCP for Windows machine or similar tool on Linux machine to copy the files on the virtual machine. Now once you have your files ready in this directory, connect to container and take the backup of existing certificate and key which are already there. To do so run, sudo, docker, exec, hyphen it, tools underscore awx underscore one which is a container name, slash bin slash bash. Please note that the containers must be in a running status for you to connect to them. If you are unable to get inside the container and it shows that, that no containers are running error message, then in that case simply start the containers using sudo docker start followed by containers name. I am inside the container. CD2 etc. Nginx directory. Here we have both the files. Run. Move nginx.crt to nginx underscore backup.crt. And move nginx.key nginx underscore backup dot key ls we have our backup ready now exit the container using exit command go to our setup directory stop the containers using sudo docker stop containers name copy these two files to containers using docker copy command as i am running here sudo docker copy certificate file then container name colon nginx directory now both the files copied in the container we also need to make the changes in configuration file switch to root user open the nginx con file using vi editor available at this location we already made the changes to this file in our first part of this video but i just wanted to show you again on line 56, we should have SSL added. And line 62 and 63 should be uncommented. Like this here. Now we are good to go. Save this file. Restart the containers using sudo docker start containers name. Or if you are encountering any issue with this command, then reboot the VM. Now access the AWX interface in your favorite browser using https colon slash slash public IP of the VM colon 80. Accept the warning. Log in with admin user and password. Now suppose instead of this colon 80 here in the URL, you want to access the AWX using port 443. In that case you need to make two changes. First change we need to make in per boot script. We have one per boot script running on the VM, which restarts the containers and redirect the connection to port 80. We need to update that per boot script to use the port 443 instead of 80. For that, go to the terminal and open this Ansible per boot script located at var, lib, cloud, scripts, per boot directory, using VI editor. On this line here, change the port 80 to 443. Save the changes. Second thing you need to do is, open port 443 for your VM. For that go to your VM's details page, and locate the networking option and update the firewall rule to allow port 443. On GCP, you can simply stop the VM, click on edit option and under the networking section you can check the HTTPS option. On AWS, you need to go to the security group associated to your VM and add the HTTPS rule. On Azure, go to networking option available in left pane on VM's detail page. Once you have port 443 open for your virtual machine, reboot the VM. Please wait for a few minutes to allow the containers to start completely.
After few minutes, access the AWX in the browser using HTTPS colon slash slash IP address of the VM. This time no need of colon 80 after the IP address. Accept the warning message. Log in with admin and password. This is how you can enable HTTPS for TechLattice Ansible AWX VM. That's it for today's video. In this video, we have explored how to enable HTTPS for Ansible AWX. We have covered all three scenarios, which include using the default certificate and key available on this VM, creating an authorized self-signed certificate, or utilizing an authorized CA-signed certificate. Thank you for joining.